using only the power of and, not, or, zor, and a whole bunch of memory gates, can we beat computery stuff? A logic-based puzzle map. Now, what caught my eye about this is that I I happen to program for, for work. So, you know, using logic gates, memory gates, you know, this kind of thing I do for a living. So, when you haven't had enough work, what do you want to do? Go home, play Minecraft, and do more work. Let's jump right in. Welcome to Solar Tech Corp. Last week, we were attacked by ghosts. Yes. So we decided to improve our security system. To do that, we want to use a new technology of ours, called Bluestone. We need you to help us test its capabilities. Bluestone works like Redstone but without a limited distance. Your goal is to power the Bluestone lamp. Dude, that's a nice intro. So if I hit the button... Level 1 complete. I'm really good at this. Oh, it's you again. This is an end gate. Yes. It output on when it's left and right side are on. So for those of you who aren't computer programmers at home, an AND gate will turn on if both one condition and another condition are met. In this case, if both this signal and this signal are on. How it works. In this particular, this particular um, logic gate, its description, how it works is in its name. This is a not gate. It inverts the power it receives. Oh, not. Okay, so, so a not gate, it's, it's basically flip-flops, you know? It's true if false and false if true. So right now we have a signal going into it. So therefore it's outputting a false. So if it's true, it's not. So if I turn off the signal, the signal goes through. This is an OR gate. Mm -hmm. It outputs on when it's left or right side is on. Like the creepy, I think it's supposed to be Siri. Like Siri said, an OR gate will output if one side or the other side sees a signal. A very, very basic gates. Are we finally getting to puzzle time? Interesting. So now we have to use our knowledge of OR, ANDs, and NOT gates to turn on the bluestone. Now this is going to be very, very simple. So right now, we have this OR gate right here. We'll start with, we'll start and figure out this side. So I have this NOT signal right here. Well, it's sending a signal right now to the OR gate. The OR gate is outputting a signal, but since it's running through the NOT, instead of going high and turning on, it goes low and turns off. So we need to turn off the signal to the OR gate. Now we got a signal. Uh, this one, uh, we basically do the same thing. Turn off both signals. And that's a level complete. Hmm. All right, so let's see here. So what we need to do is turn off the signal to this OR gate. So let's do... So how do I want to do this? All right, so this is, so this is outputting a signal, but it's still getting a signal. It's still true because it's getting a signal from here or there, in this case, over on the left side here. So if I turn you off, that's off. And then if I turn you on, logic, I do logic. I had a 15 minute debate with one of my coworkers about an in-depth conversation. This is a XOR gate. It outputs on when it receives only one on signal. Mm -hmm. OR gate. So now we're getting into the um, Zor gates, and I've never been very good with these, but I think if I turn I'm still not totally sure how Zor gates work. Uh, it outputs on when it receives only one signal. Okay. 
easy enough. Let's see here. I have a and. I have an and. I have a Zor. Let's see here. Let's turn on you. And you. No, we don't want to turn on you and you. And I just got to remember how ore gates work here. All right. Turn that off. So it outputs. So right now it's false. So it turns on because of the not gate here. And I need to get a signal over to here, which can only be done by turning on you and you. Piece of cake. Like I said, I do this for a living. Oh my. Oh my. All right. So what needs to happen is I need to get a signal to both of these AND gates to turn on this AND gate because it needs to be true. It needs to see a left AND a right signal. A left AND a right signal. So I basically need to turn on... Oh, let's see. So not, not. Zor's. Zor. All right. So let's turn you on. And then I think I need to turn... Or, or, or. There we go. So it's happening because it's a... a Zor. Basically, I need to have no signal of this for it to go not and go back true again. Now, over here, I want an... Don't think I want... Zor. So I don't want... this one to go on. I want this one to go on. Yeah! Oh, hello again. This is a multiplexer. If the underside is off, it will copy and output the left signal. Okay. If the underside is on, mm -hmm. it will copy and output the right signal. Okay. Let me make sure... Left, it'll copy and output the right. Okay, multiplexers. Not a little bit different of a logic gate than I'm used to. I love the music, by the way. So I want to... All right, let's see here. What's our condition here? We have an and that we need to turn on. All right, so we'll figure out... Let's do this loop first. So I have my multiplexer here. I want it to copy the... This signal. Oh no, I... Yes, so I want to flip its state. So now I have that AND on. Now I do... Now this one... Now this AND block, to get a signal, we have to see a signal from here and here in order to output to here. That's just... That's just... It's just an AND block. Hmm. So if I turn you on, and now for the multiplexer... Oh no, I have to do... And you. There we go. Piece of cake. They came messing with the wrong PLC programmer, I'll tell you that much. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, wait, I didn't even, like, pay attention to what I'm supposed to be doing here. Okay. So I need to get this multiplexer signal on. Oh, so regardless, this is going to be off. Interesting. All right, how do I want to do this? I have the multiplexer here. reflect that I was just kind of messing around trying to figure out how I wanted to figure that how to do that and I accidentally stumbled across the answer let the record reflect that that one is not all me 
All right, so I need to get a signal to... All right, so no matter what I do, I'm going to be sending a signal to this ore block, canceling it out. But that might be okay. And an and, or, all right. Now let's get a signal. All right. So I got the signal going through that. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, dude, this is just, this is a piece of cake. All right, what do I have here? I have an and signal, so I need to get a signal to here and to here. All right, so, well, figuring out this side's gonna be easy. Turn on the light. Piece of cake. When you do, when you do puzzles like this, you basically need to take it as, I need to get this side figured out to be true first, and then I can go and figure out this side. So we'll take it from the we'll take it from the bottom here. So the multiplexer. Turn that off. There we go. So the reason why this works is right now it's looking at this side. It's getting a signal looking looking over here. And it's true, but this knot is turning it off. So if I flip it. It's false, but then the knot's like, nah, dog, we're going to flip you, and it's all good. I will turn on the and there, and let's see here. So this is a four, so if I turn on you and you, dude, I could probably just finish this map, like, today, but I still really want to, like, puzzle it out. It's gonna kinda match game. Oh, is it not gonna let me go into game? Alright, I guess I'll have to take a screenshot. Like that. Oh, wrong one. F2? It's F2. Flip that three, open that up. Alright. So let's do this now. So I have an ore that I need to turn off. Should be easy enough. So ore and ore, and I need to turn off the signal to this. If I turn you off. Oh, and you off. All right, so this one might actually be harder because again, I'm not the best with my Zors. If I leave you on. No, I don't want to leave you on. Look at me go. This is a D flip flop. It's one of the most complex gates, so listen closely. Okay. You see the little arrow on it? Yes. When right the there. side with the arrow switches from off to on, it will copy and output the signal of the other side. Okay. The output will not change until the side with the arrow switches from off to on. Oh. Oh, I, I see why this is so powerful. So this won't copy the signal until it sees a high to low signal. That makes sense. So now it's if I tell it to copy this signal, it's going to turn off. Cool, huh? Let me get it high. Nice. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, right. So I basically have to do this. Piece of cake. I wonder what this does, the hell. This is a button. You can press it. 
This is an AND gate. Oh! It output on when it's left and right side are on. Alright, so now we need to turn on this AND block. Makes sense. AND and AND, and then AND. Alright, now I need to turn the... Hold on one second here, I messed it up. Okay, that one's figured out, and now... Nailed it. You know, I think this is a really good stopping place. I'm having a blast with this map, but again, I love doing puzzles like this. So I think we're going to end it here. Uh, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode.